It fuels our lives and creates the products we depend on. It powers our workforce. It brings us home and gives us warmth. It lets us travel the earth and reach for the sky. Vital for life, too precious to waste. Oil and natural, let's use it wisely. Learn more at energytomorrow.org. Hey, Margaret, what are they selling? They are selling oil and gas. They, and, and it's genius in a way. Like, I think the copywriter for this deserves a Pulitzer. Like, to try oil of, and loyalty and passion, yeah, you know, right. this is the, the essence of human life. It's what makes our society go. We, we have to love it. And the, it's really clear why, right, at this particular historical moment in America, we hate oil and gas. We feel vulnerable. Right. We feel dependent. These companies, these megalithic companies are gouging us and our kids are dying in the Middle East in order to support them. Um, and meanwhile, they're getting tax subsidies and making record profits. Right. <laughs> so what do you do? You convert the sense of dependency and vulnerability into one of loyalty and love. And the perfect vehicle to do it is this idea of like love and family. Sure. Right? You know, this yeah. thing to which we are dependent, but we also feel loyalty, that we're vulnerable to them, but we also love them. And I think that's what the strategy of this ad is. Right. Yeah. But if you go to energytomorrow.com, it's like, no more taxes for mm. oil. Stop Congress for having right. more oil and gas taxes. Simple as hell. Oil They're also gas. making us feel as if we have control yeah. over oil, America's oil and gas. And, you know, I'm thinking probably George is sitting at his, at, on the couch, <laughs> you know, scratching himself and saying, Mars, come on in here, dude. That's that commercial, that damn blast of commercial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, throwing stuff at the television. I can't afford to drive my car. They want me to be happy about this. <laughs> 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 that's, that's, but it's tough. I'm with like George. <laughs> it's, it's, it's tough to hate them, though, because they take their industry and they attach it to the most significant milestones of our lives, right? So it starts off with the baby bump. You have the graduation, and then you have the wedding, right? You have the uh, the middle class father and the tie coming home and the child longing for him out the window right, as if right. to say, Daddy, I love you and the fossil fuels that brought you home. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. I mean, they attach it. It undercuts any of the things you could have a problem with. You, you know, what about smog and some of the downsides? Well, don't you love babies? <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> don't true. you want Daddy to get home to see his child? Yes, yeah, yeah, I think we do. It's yeah. both viscous and odoriferous. What's not to love? <laughs> <laughs> I too went to the website and it said, uh, we, uh, what was the phrase? It said, we support the petroleum industry. Like, well, finally somebody is speaking <laughs> up with the petroleum industry. <laughs> they needed their help. Is there, is there an together. industry? I didn't know. Yeah. Maybe we can get some representation in the White House someday. It, it, it's Hopefully. amazing how long their power arc has been because in the 30s, President Roosevelt said, you can't get elected without the oil block and you can't govern with them. You know, hmm. it, it pretty much is the same thing can't going with on them? today. Yeah. Can't live with them? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I thought, I mean, there's that image of, of the man and woman's hand, yes. oil and natural gas together. Are they saying gas is female? Is that what they're saying? Hmm. Oh, John, I, I think you're ever reading that. <laughs> I was totally reading that. I was reading the, the relationship between the words that were used and the images. And that oil, they say oil and natural gas. And just as they say together, mm -hmm. the couple's yes. hands, yes. the American couple, yes. and he's the dark skin oil, yes. and she's the lighter skin natural gas. Yes. That was my read. <laughs> <laughs> There's no coal? What about coal? <laughs> I guess I suppose her veil billowing is like the clouds of noxious pollutants billowing into the air yeah. or something. Well, you notice yeah. the car. I mean, it's like, a, was that like a 1950s type yeah. car or something? So, I mean, really trying to yeah, hone in on the, the, yes, yeah. the values, uh, family values, that, right? and, you know, and good old days. That, that car uses more gas, too. Well, right? exactly. <laughs> exactly. But, but I love the parting image. The words on the screen were the people of the natural, to give it a humanity. It's a trade industry organization, for goodness sake, the it's API right. it's it's right. Right. Exactly. Yeah, right. You know, it's lobbying the, monster on the planet. Right, right. It's definitely one of the <laughs> worst Martin, evils. You started by saying that they're, they're selling oil and gas, but I really think that what we convey is entirely politics. We think of ads like this as being commercials, but this is pure political yeah, no, propaganda. Right. Don't regulate us. Yeah. Mm. Right. Well, I think most people are kind of inclined to want to rein them in a little point, bit. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, time for exit question. Um, in the commercial, it says uh, we provide heat to, you know, whatever it is with your baby bottle. Daryl, where would you like to apply some heat? I would like to apply the heat to our political system 
office can be elected to major political offices. Mm. Margaret? Congress, we're at time of filming, they're debating whether or not to cut tax subsidies to fix oil and gas. Yeah. Mm, really like to apply some heat under Tim Flinty's behind. <laughs> to my stand-up career. I've, I've had a little heat lately, but it's more of a dry heat. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the worst heat of all? <laughs> Congressional subpoenas, heat them up. Coming up next, insurance.com.